In this session, we'll discuss installing the Citrix receiver for Windows. To get started, go to www.slcc.edu and under the Current Student section, select All Access. In the Client Installation Instructions area, there's a set of instructions to install the Windows client, if you want to refer to this later. I'm going to go ahead and close this window and we'll get started. First, you want to log in with your MyPage username and password and then hit Enter or click Login. The system will detect if you have the client installed. If not, select to agree to the license agreement and then click Install. You'll then be prompted to either download or run the client installation depending on your browser. Some browsers only allow to download or save the file, so I'll do that. And now that the file is downloaded, I'll select to run it to start the installation. Sometimes this installation runs or finishes with the OK dialog box in the background. You can click on this icon to bring it back to the front and then click OK to finish. You may also be prompted to enable or allow the Citrix receiver to run on your computer. In this case, it's along the bottom of the browser. In others, it may be along the top. With this drop down here, you can also select to run on other sites that use the Citrix receiver. Either is fine, but I prefer setting it up for all sites. You may then be prompted a few times the first time you run the receiver to allow it to run. Just click OK on these to continue. At this point, you should then be presented with a list of the applications available based on your login. There's one more setting we need to make for Internet Explorer that allows automatic reconnection to any of your existing sessions. To do this, you can either click on this gear or cog icon up in the top right corner of Internet Explorer, or select the Tools and then Internet Options from the menu bar. You may have to hit the Alt key to bring up the menu. Now select the Security tab. Now select the Trusted Sites icon, and then click on Sites to add HTTPS allaccess.slcc.edu to your Trusted Sites list. Then click OK to close the open dialog boxes. At this point, you should be set up and ready to go. Now let's look at the settings. In the settings here, you can choose what happens with existing sessions when you log in or click on the reconnect option. With this button, you can check to make sure that the client is properly installed or reinstalled if needed. In the user experience section, you can also choose how you want Windows to look as you launch programs. Now let's switch gears and discuss some common problems you may have at this point. One may be that when you click on a program, it asks you to download an ICA file rather than running the program. Another may be that nothing happens when you click on a program after logging in. Some common fixes to this include some of the things we've discussed and a few additional ones. First, make sure you actually have run and installed the client after downloading it. Then, make sure you also allowed the ActiveX program to run when you were prompted. Then, make sure you've added all access to the list of trusted sites in Internet Explorer. Now, if those don't work, after the initial installation, you may need to close and reopen the browser windows to make sure that all new settings have taken effect. You may also just need to restart your computer. And finally, we can also uninstall the client and reinstall the most recent client from the Citrix website if nothing else has worked. To reinstall the client, we'll come back to our desktop and close out the browser. Next, we'll click on the Windows button and go to the control panel so we can remove that existing client. 
Then we'll select Uninstall a Program, which is also called Add Remove Programs in older versions of Windows. In here, find the Citrix Online Plugin or the Citrix Receiver and then click to Uninstall. This should start the process to remove the program from your computer. Now we can close the control panel and then we'll go to the Citrix website to find the most recent receiver there. So open your browser and then search for Citrix Downloads. Now here, just make sure you find the official site from Citrix.com. Now go to the Client Center. Once in the Client Center, we should see a list of operating systems with receivers available. Go ahead and click on the icon for Windows. Once here, you can see that, there, that the current version supports Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Chrome. There's also a list of currently supported Windows operating systems as well. Now go ahead and click the download button and we'll be taken to a download page. You have the option here of using the Citrix Download Manager. You can use that, but I typically prefer the manual download option. You'll now be prompted to either run or download the installation file. I'll download it for now. Once the file is downloaded, we can run it to start the installation. I haven't done it here, but it can be a good thing to close all your open browser windows before installing the receiver. Now, go ahead and click OK to finish the installation. Now we'll close all of our open windows and try launching the All Access site in Firefox and in Chrome. First, we'll open Firefox and type allaccess.slcc.edu right in the address bar directly. Then log in with your MyPage username and password. Firefox should then automatically log you right into the site and present you with a list of your applications where you can run. Now I'll launch Google Chrome. Again, I'll type the allaccess.slcc.edu URL directly in the address bar. I'll log in with my MyPage credentials. With Chrome, the client detection may not work properly. You can select this option here to skip to log on after you've manually installed the client and program should launch just as expected. Again, we're presented with a list of applications and ready to start. This concludes our session on the All Access Windows Client installation. Here's a final list of some of those troubleshooting procedures we've covered as you install the client. Thanks for watching.